This meeting is being held in accordance with the public laws of 1975, Chapter 231. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by a notice sent to the Star Ledger, the local source, and posted in the main lobby of the municipal building and on the township website. I'm going to ask uh, Union County Vice Commander David Penna of American Legion Post 228 to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and I ask that you please remain standing for a moment of silence for all those who defend our country, both near and not so near. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mayor Capitis. Here. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Present. Committeeman Huber. Yes, ma'am. Committeeman Laufer. Present. Committeeman Weber. Here. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Once again, we have proclamations and announcements June Juneteenth. It will be Monday, June 19th. All municipal offices will be closed. Monday, recycling will be picked up. Uh, and I'm also going to ask that if you're not doing anything at 5.30 that afternoon, evening, please come to Chisholm. We are going to have the second annual Juneteenth flag raising. Thirds. Third? It's Friday. Friday. And it's Friday. It's a Friday. The Juneteenth supper. Juneteenth, I, I apologize. Juneteenth. That's Friday, I'm sorry, this Friday at 5.30. <coughs> Thank you for that. Okay. Um, twice a week garbage pickup has started. Mondays and Thursdays are Tuesdays and Fridays. The farmer's market will start on Monday, July 3rd from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. in front of the library. Uh, July 4th celebration, 5 p.m. at Mizell Avenue Park. Free admission, free activities, pony rides, petting zoo, inflatables, trackless train, DJ, and live entertainment food trucks, and of course, fireworks start at dusk. Um, a couple of congratulations. Uh, first to Bagel Supreme for over 40 years in business, the best bagels in America. Um, congratulations to them. Unfortunately, I was not able to attend, um, but I think we are working on a proclamation for them coming up in the next couple of meetings. Uh, we would also like to extend a heartfelt congratulations to our Jonathan Dayton High School softball team for their achievements this year. The Bulldogs made history by becoming the inaugural team to win the Mountain Division, making their debut in the county tournament, earning a spot in the county rankings, and accomplishing an undefeated season with an 8-0 record. Their outstanding performance resulted in the highest ranking among all teams in the state sectional playoffs, securing the impressive, pardon me, uh, possession, uh, impressive position of number two. Their remarkable journey led them to the semifinals of the sectional playoffs. If that wasn't enough, eight players achieved batting averages of over 300 for the season. These exceptional athletes received well-deserved recognition with four players earning the prestigious distinction of being selected for the first team All-Mountain Division, while the remaining four players received honorable mentions. So again, congratulations to the softball team and also congratulations to all of our graduates for the class of 2023. Lastly, um, I'm just going to give you a monthly update on our Gomez project. There continues to be increased activity at the site. The township officials continue to monitor the project on a daily basis. Due to the long delays which the developer caused and the disjointed management of the project, the township of Springfield filed a motion demanding immediate corrective action. That motion requested the court to order specific dates by which the old hair salon at 26 Center Street was demolished and removed from the site. The township's construction official has declared the old hair salon to be an unsafe structure, and as such, it must be demolished and removed. The owner has obtained permits to cap the utilities in the street and hired a licensed asbestos abatement report and complete any pest abatement needed. The township does believe that this process, including de demolition, should be completed by mid to late July. We have asked the court to order the date and permit to the township, take additional steps if the hair salon structure is not removed by mid to late July. As with all other active construction sites, the owner has finally obtained the permit and put a temporary construction trailer on the site, which is the appropriate way to manage a job of this nature. Meanwhile, the township has requested proof regarding the integrity of the wood that is up on Caldwell Place side and a foundation survey to ensure that the project is being constructed at the approved location. 
Certain backfilling has occurred, and we have requested that the proof be that it is sufficient to stabilize the streets and that the sidewalk can be reopened on Morris Avenue. The wood fencing on Caldwell Place and Center continues to deteriorate, and we have asked the court to fix deadlines by which the wood fencing can be removed and normal construction fencing installed. Our professionals are attempting to negotiate a consent order resolving these matters, but if not successful, we will ask the court to impose reasonable deadlines. Again, there is activity on the site and the township's goal is to have a safe project finally completed despite the owner's delays and excuses. That concludes my announcements. Does anyone else have an announcement up here? Um, I'd just like to say uh, campus, after so many years, closed the doors. And I remember when uh, Mike ran it years ago, we used to go there every Saturday during basketball season with my two sons and whiskey. Um, it was sad to see him go, very sad. But I wish, that, I wish Sue all the luck in the world. Um, a lot of people called me and said they couldn't believe that she just closed her doors. But nothing we could do. All right, but good luck. Anyone else? One thing, real sure. quick. Uh, go Bulldogs. Um, as within any uh, sports program in this town, takes a lot to get to uh, where we are this year with softball. There have been a lot of people that have been involved um, in helping us get that far. A lot of coaches, a lot of volunteers, a lot of everything. And as you know, we're all a bunch of dads standing around. I think Ashley started when she was seven and we're all a bunch of dads standing around and uh, we're counting the years in our heads to, to when they're gonna get to make those plays and when they're gonna get to, to all play together and be on that uh, field. And we kind of knew that it was happening last year and that last year was gonna be the beginning of it. And uh, this year they, they really put it together. Erica's daughter was the lone senior. So Deanna was our, our, our team captain. So thanks Dee for uh, leading these girls as far as they did. And uh, get ready Union County and State because we're coming after you all next year. Thank you. Um, I, I, you stole my thunder. I was gonna say the last sentence and said, that just means that uh, next year, That's it. it's usually a championship year. Uh, I wish I could say the same for my Yankees. Um, it's not, over yet. not over. It's early. But uh, one, one, one comment, it was I, I think two Fridays ago, uh, was uh, Rabbi Renee Edelman's uh, uh, last service at Temple Shari uh, Shalom. Uh, I had the privilege of, of, of attending and, and being with her. Uh, she meant a lot to our community, helped, uh, helped plan a lot, uh, uh, a lot of community events, and she certainly will be missed. Um, and uh, as I said there, I actually think we're all gonna go join her in, in Monmouth County. She's going down the shore. Uh, so, uh, 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 Congrats on her. She, she, I believe she's going to a larger congregation, but it's certainly a loss for Springfield. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Uh, now it's time for public comment on agenda items only. Anyone from the public wishing to be heard on any agenda items, please come to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. You'll have four minutes to speak, after which the uh, Township Committee may respond. What's that? <laughs> I came right from work. Uh, Jerry Fernandez, 393 Hillside Avenue. Um, just a couple of the resolutions, because I know they'll probably be grouped together, but the um, one, 170 on the Baltistrol parking, is the main entrance different than it was, I guess, than from the... Uh, They're the, going to use the upper entrance. Which is, which, which one? Sean Pike? Sean Pike. But up above, they'll probably have the back gate open also. I have a meeting with them tomorrow. On the hillside area? Uh, so the hillside side by the... I don't know. I, I got a okay. meeting with them tomorrow. I'll let you know. All right. And the parking then, the pay parking on those yep. streets, how does that work? Yeah, you're going to have to use the app. Like we have in the parking lots in town now, the Park okay. Mobile app. All right. So those and will be up. There will be signs. There's signs that will be up and it will have the address, you know, the, the app. So you can put in your phone. We talked to PD. We picked the streets that we thought were logical in a certain radius we didn't go like 
way outside it or anything. Right, right. So, and again, they're only temporary. As soon as the, the tournament's over, we'll take the signs down. Did they give you numbers on what they expect to come into town? Like uh... they, they, they don't. They haven't yet. But they said to us when we met with them that they get about one day's, if the men are playing, the women get one day's attendance of what the men get. Now, no, they get four days' worth of one, one day. for the men. So it's, it's not attended very well, actually. Okay. And the uh, 179 on that, too, is uh, I know, I guess, with drones, they don't want drones flying. Is it, did they tell you what areas? Like, a thousand is it just feet. A thousand feet from? From Walter Shore. Right from the border. Yep. All right. And uh, 176, if you can talk about that one. Too. Yeah, the only thing that that is is that it is just exactly what the fire chief is entitled to by the township codes. There's nothing additional. Oh, oh, he just yeah. wanted something in writing for some reason. And we, we went through our township attorney, and Craig, you can attest to that. I mean, it was strictly what he's entitled to, nothing additional. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to make a public comment on agenda items only? Seeing none, I'm going to close the public comment portion on agenda items only uh, and move on to reports. Uh, Mr. Sicolo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to pick up uh, on the Gomes project. Uh, as you mentioned, we're there every day. If you've been up there, the steel now on Center Street has been completed. The crane is gone. They're in the process of just doing some bolting on some of it today, but all the steel has been lifted and in place. On Caldwell's side, they started the block. Uh, what from the, from the deck, there's block that has to go up, cinder block that has to go up first, which leaves the outline of the doors and the windows, that type of thing. So the Caldwell side, they're waiting for six inch block on the street side. On the interior side, which was eight inch block, that's just about finished at this point. In reference to the house, they did get temporary electrical services been put in. They did cap the water. The sewer is not capped yet. That should be done shortly. And I think they're waiting for Jerry to go up this week to do an inspection on that. Um, the deck has been finished on the first level. The wire is down and they should be pouring that hopefully either this week or next. That should complete the entire first level. So they are making progress as we speak. Road renovations, we just completed Fatum and a portion of Diamond, uh, Diamond Road. We're consisted of mill and overlay, spot curbing and drainage. That project was funded by DOT. We had a grant of about $440,000. We just did the specs for Stonehill and Troy Drive, sent that to DOT for approval. Before that goes to bid, that also was, was uh, funded by DOT in 2023. We got, again, about $440,000. Laurel Park Tennis Courts, the final layer and the court marking, weather permitting, will be applied this week, allowed to cure over the weekend, and by Monday, they will be reopened. Uh, in Town Hall, we had two boilers replaced that were damaged in the flood. The state came in, inspected them, and those were approved. We also did a little extra security. I don't know if anybody noticed, but in the tax office, we had a solid door there that was always left open. And I, I wasn't comfortable. That's the only door here that had no security whatsoever. <clears throat> so what DPW did, they cut a spot out, we bought a window, and put a window in there, and we're gonna have a buzzer. So when you come, Jen will be able to buzz you in to go into the tax office now. Again, probably not a big deal, but you just never know. Um, we replaced part of the floor in Chisholm in the back hallway. For some reason, it, it was buckling, so we had to take that out and replace that. We're scheduled to replace the old skylight in Chisholm, because it leaks, it's been leaking for a number of years, so that's gonna be done. On July 4th, DPW is working with OEM to make sure that everything is done and ready to roll. We did a DOT application for Smithfield and Milltown. That should be awarded in November of 23. We asked for 500,000. We never get what we asked for, so you always shoot high. We'll see what happens. Uh, we did get our CDBG grant which is 120 and that's for road rehabilitation. Interesting thing they did on road rehabilitation, public improvements. 
they cut the time frame down that we have to use the money by. They cut it down from a year to eight months. So they, they're trying to get people to hurry up and use the money and get the projects done. Everything else they left the same, but that one they actually did tighten up the time frame on it. Um, our other our other redevelopment agreement our, our projects are going fine. The one down the end of Church Mall are working on. They're down there every day. Uh, Sachs project is moving along very well. Uh, we've had no problems with them with permitting or anything like that. So we're we're looking forward to seeing that get open very soon. Are there any questions or comments? Um, I meant to ask you this. I meant to call you again today. Ask you about this. We usually have a uh, cleaning up the Brooks pro the Brooks in, in town. Right. The program. I'd like to know when starting and that because every I'm getting calls. People are nervous because hurricanes are coming and and they don't want to get flooded again. I wanna know where we're gonna be and everything else like that, you know. I'll get you a report on that. I mean we put two guys out there every day and I know they can't get in there with any machinery. Right. They can get all the. We can only get from what we can reach from the side. You know, vegetate it right. They can walk in and pull on all the weeds yep. and things like that. This way, clean it up for the people. I'll get that from our DPW director and get back to you. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Thank you, John. Thank you. Uh, no minutes and reports to approve. No ordinances, either uh, new business or second reading. Um, so resolutions, I will. Uh, will Approve them by consent agenda. If you like one, more, please let me know. 2023, 165, 166, 167, 168, 169, 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178 and 179. Pull 178 and 179. All right, uh, 178 was pulled. Can I have a motion, please? To adopt the following resolutions on consent agenda. Resolution 2023-165 through resolution 2023-177 and resolution 2023-177. Second? I'll second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Kaiser? Yes. Committeeman Huber? Yes. Committeeman Laufer? Yes. Sorry, Committeeman Weber? Yes. Mayor Kaiser? Mayor Capitis? Yes. Madam Clerk, could you please read resolution 2023 178 by title? Yes. This resolution approves amendments to the 2023 budget for the Springfield Community Partnership and schedules a public hearing and final adoption thereof. Uh, I will make a motion to adopt resolution 2023-178 as read by Madam Clerk. Second. Yes. Uh, Deputy Mayor Kaiser? No. Committeeman Laufer? Yes. Committeeman Huber? Yes. Committeeman Weber? No. Mayor Capitis? Yes. Okay, resolution passes. I want to go over two resolutions. You know, 166, that's, that's the labor that we had is coming back. Am I correct? Uh, again, these are our. Six Our months, yeah. yes. Okay, I just want to assure that. Yep. I want people to realize that. And what Mr. Fernandez said, uh, 170, if you own a house on around there, you could park on the street and not have to pay. Like no, you park in your driveway. Yeah, but it, During the tournament, we're not going to be able to distinguish who's a resident and who's not. I don't think the resolution says that. What's the resolution say? The resolution <laughs> says... I'm not mistaken. It says for no parking, the following portions of streets are designated as no parking. Yeah, he's talking if you're a resident. Though. No, but if I'm a resident, I live on Hill, Hillside, right? Hillside, to your Hillside Avenue. What's it? We'll have, to, we'll have to ask Cook how he's going to handle that. All right, I just, I just wondered, because I had heard 
Somebody had said that to me, oh, I'm a resident, so I'd be able to park on the street. I said, I don't know. Do they park on the street now? I don't know. I, I think on some. Yeah, okay. We'll check, uh, check with Cook in the morning. Right. I just want to clarify for Resolution 166 for those two DPW hires. Those are, those, I don't know if those are returns or not. They, they are. are not seasonal. Those are part-time. We are, in other words, I'm, well, I should have said, we're not, we don't have 10, and now we're going to make 11. We're, we're still keeping at 10. I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing something out there, right? And that, that's what we usually do. Okay. I can't speak to that. I just want to clarify that they're not seasonal. They're, they're part-time. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and to you, Mr. Huber, uh, we have a machine scheduled to come within the next two weeks to help clean out the streams. It's a special reach that allow us to pick stuff out from the bank. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Thanks, Robbie. <coughs> All right. Thank you. Discussion and action items. I would uh, like to request, I would like to approve, I would like to move to approve a request. <laughs> Wow, words are hard today. Uh, by the New York Blood Center, New York, New Jersey Blood Services to hold blood drives at Chisholm Community Center, <coughs> July 5, August 7, 12.30 to 10. And a home harmless and certificate of insurance is provided. Second. Roll call, please. Committee Min Laufer? Yes. Committee Min Huber? Yes. Committee Min Weber? Yes. Deputy Mayor Kaiser? Yes, and donate. Yes. Mayor Capides, thank you. Finance. Uh, all right, it's time for finance. Pay some, uh, pay some bills. Uh, I will make a motion to adopt the payroll and invoices for the period of May 24th through June 13th, 2023 in the amount of $5,424,233.97. Oh, my God, 97 cents. I second it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Kaiser? Yes. Committee Min Huber? Yes. Committee Min Laufer? Yes. Committee Min Weber? Yes. Mayor Capitis? Yes, we have two correspondence, one from JCPNL, a notice of a public hearing July 10th at 4.30 and 5.30 p.m. Visit the website for further information. And also notice of public Springfield Board of Adjustment June 20th, 6 p.m. regarding 266-268 Morris Avenue. Uh, with that, I would like to open the meeting again for public comment and any, any governmental issue. Anyone from the public wish to Comment, please step forward with your name and address. You'll have four minutes, after which the council committee may respond. Jerry Fernandez, 393 Hillside Avenue. Um, I, I know you had the, the last meeting I came to, I think that you had the mayor's uh, flood mitigation meeting, or, or a meeting in between these two. Just wonder if there was an update on that. Or what was uh, anything new after that meeting? Didn't I thought you were going to a meeting no, in between? There, there was, but I do not have an update at this time. But at a later date, I certainly will. All right. And um, on the uh, resolution with the drawings, drones actually were were the, any of the re residents do they get notice on that? Like if uh, I will ask PD board? how they're going to handle that. That's that was requested by Chief Cook. Yeah, um, all right. I, I know with the men's, uh, Rich, you brought it up, but when the men's, there was no parking on the streets at all. Yeah. Or so, I, 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 just, yeah. I heard somewhere, oh, you park on the street. I said, you know what I want to do? If, if you wouldn't mind, I, Mr. Fernandez, if you want to ask all your questions, oh, sorry. give all your comments, okay. and then. I apologize. Yeah. No, no problem. Okay. No, just because I, I know you mentioned my name in there before. So, um, no, all right, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else from the public wishing to be heard on any governmental issue? Uh, John. Matt Lynch, formerly one uh, 93 Lions Place, 100 Mountain Avenue. Now I reside at Stony Brook Drive, Bridgewater, New Jersey. Retired police officer. Um, just trying to see here so you don't forget my face. Um, it's been a while since I've been here. Um, Want to just address. Uh, Myself and the three other guys that are not paying or are paying for their um, a benefits upon retirement sent the letter to the township committee. Obviously, we got a, a letter back from the township attorney and the township administrator. And <coughs> to me, um, it's, uh, I just want to say it's, 
I wish that, you know, we could meet with the township committee separate from the lawyers and from the poop. I'm a Springfield guy for 40 years, worked and lived. I went to school here. Tom Balk is a resident 50 years. The only one's probably been in Springfield longer than the time Balk is probably Mr. Huber. Um, Mr. Huber's a longtime friend of my family's. Um, quick story, when I was all overseas, when I was a soldier, Mr. Huber and his wife sent me a letter and writing materials to write back. So I don't know if I ever thanked you for that, but I am now. Appreciate it. But I would hope that um, the people of Springfield would appreciate the service that a couple of residents, people who are residents and worked here a long time, could sit down and talk to us about our retirement benefits. Um, I know that the um, township attorney has his job to do. You pay him to do his job. I understand that. And same with the town administrator. But they're not Springfield guys. As far as I know, they've never lived here. Uh, they've only worked here. They never paid taxes here or sent their kids to school here or went to school here. Uh, maybe you are now. I don't know. But it wasn't when I was still working here. So I would hope that you guys would, would just be able to sit with us and talk to us. Um, there's union guys from what unions are on, sit on township committee. We, like I know, Chris Christie dumped this thing in the state of New Jersey upside down and it crushed everybody. Um, I know the township attorney would go back to Chapter 78, but the township committee could take his advice, and obviously that's what you pay him to do, but you still can change that. You can change that. You could take care of the guys that took care of you for 25 plus years, who lived in town, who went to school in town, who sent their kids to school in town. Someone who's been here, I think Tom, I don't want to say he's 50, he's sure he's my age, pretty close. Um, he's been here his whole life. And for a township resident to have to live here, grow up here, and not uh, be able to receive the benefits that in his contract stated were, were there. You could change that. You could change that. Um, you know, listen to the recommendation. I get that. But you can change and, and make it right. Um, take care of the people that took care of you on time. Uh, thank you for your time. It's good to see everybody again. I hope you have a good summer and uh, talk soon. Thank you. Anyone else from the public wishing to speak? Okay, seeing none, I'm going to close the public comment <coughs> portion on agenda on, on any governmental issue. I'm going to close the portion of that meeting, and I believe we have an executive session. Yes. Madam Clerk? Resolution 6, 1323, whereas Article 6 of the Open Public Meetings Act provides that a public body may hold a closed session, and whereas the township committee will, during this meeting, enter into discussion of the following matters, matters covered by attorney-client privilege and potential contract negotiations. So moved. Second. Whereas the matters to be discussed in closed session are to remain in the strictest of confidence by all township committee members in furtherance of their fiduciary duties to the township. Now, therefore, be it resolved, matters discussed at this meeting will be released to the public when the reasons for discussing and acting upon them in closed session no longer exist. Moved by Deputy Mayor Kaiser, seconded by Committee Manuber. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, we're in executive session. Uh, no action is being taken, correct? Correct. Thank you.